Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today I've got a build out video slash spec video for you. This is on the X Hover MXP 150, and the name gives it away. It's a 150 millimeter frame from X Hover, and this is going to go out to my customer in Texas, and so I thought I would kind of do a what's going in the build. And um, I do like these frames. Quality is right on par with X Hover. I think it's probably one of the better uh, 150 millimeter or three, three inch prop, um, frames out there. So, but let's get into what's going to go into this for PDB. We're going to run, this is just the standard XT60 PDB. This is going to have OSD and we'll, I'll kind of explain where I'm going to get the OSD a little bit further in the video. So XT60 PDB, just standard 5 volt, 12 volt regulated power supply um, or voltage regulators. Uh, these are the, these are really new. I did do a review on them. Let's make sure you can see them. Get it up a little closer to the camera. And wow, there we go. <laughs> these are the Spidex ES20s. Now these are BHEL. Heli S ESCs. Uh, they're very economical, but they are really, really good. I've put them on quite a few builds, probably mm, seven builds so far, including one that I am flying myself, and I absolutely love these. So um, they're not yet widely available, but they will be here pretty soon. So I would look at uh, take a look at those and they are really nice and small, smaller than a BL Heli 20, um, or I'm sorry, a uh, little B20 ESC. And, um, so these are ones to look at for sure. As far as motors, um, well, we've, <laughs> a lot of us have, are kind of anxious to see how these perform. These are the tornadoes. These are the T1s or 1407s, 3,800 KV, um, I really like the design of these tornadoes and they are supposed to be quite powerful. Um, as far as I know, and see if you can get, if you can look in there, it's the only 1407 that has curved magnets in it. So looking forward to that. Um, and it, I don't know if you, I mean, you can tell it's very notchy, very powerful magnet. So, um, this should be really, really fast. I am actually going to do, um, uh, put it on my thrust meter and, um, kind of get an idea of what it's putting out later on. Um, and so I'll do a video and update that as far as flight controllers. This is my, uh, tried and true. This is the F 303. Um, this is officially my favorite flight controller right now, as far as, um, one that I put in many builds. Now I'm going to be switching over somewhat to, um, F4s and, uh, I'm going to be putting those in builds. So, um, but I have had such good luck with this F303 and, and just so few, it, almost no issues with them with firmware or, uh, flashing firmware or anything. So I'm, I'm, I hate to, to move away from them just because I just, they have just been really rock solid for me. Uh, as far as firmware on it, I will be running the beta flight 2.7.1, uh, and be flashing it with that. Um, as far as camera now, this is, this is kind of the new, this is the Aero. This is from Fox Air. This is a pyro drone, uh, branded one, but it's a Fox Air Aero. And this has built-in OSD, and this is the version two. Now, the version one, they did have some problems with um, the spikes from the ESCs burning out the cameras, and they have addressed that issue in this one. So I'm going to be doing a review of it as well, and uh, look forward to um, to see how this performs. And this one has the 2.5 millimeter lens on it. Um, it's a little bit bigger than uh, just as far as, um, it, you know, it's a little, little bigger than the, as far as length goes here from front to back than a standard, um, 600 TVL or, um, but you know, with OSD built in, especially on a smaller build, you know, some of the, like the hub OSD, um, it can kind of be cramped in there. So I'm looking forward to putting that, this on there 
and really seeing how it performs and look for the video of a review of this camera here should be up within the next couple of days for vtx we're going to be running the tbs unify pro that allows me to switch between 20 and 800 milliwatts uh, and that works really well for um, this gentleman because he has some spaces where he can really get some distance between him and his quad. So uh, that really helps. And then he's going to be flying in indoors sometimes. So you want to put it to 20 or, you know, sometimes in some of his sheds, I guess, are pretty big. So he may go as high as 200. But for the most part, he's going to probably run it at 20 indoors. But that's really it. That's what's going into this build. Um, I expect this to be a really fast little 150. And um, these are really nice and durable. So uh, once I get it completed, I'll do a completed build video for you and kind of give you an idea of what my thoughts are after I fly it. This customer is one that um, wants me to spend some time with it and really get all the rates and PIDs, all everything nice and tuned in. So I'm going to do that for him. So I uh, hope you guys are getting something out of these videos. Again, if, if there's anything I missed or if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I do my best to get back to them as quickly as I can and like and subscribe. I also have a website, xframesfpv.com. That's xframesfpv.com. Dot com and that's where you can go and you can see prices and kind of look at some of my builds and get an idea of what I do. So hope things are going well for you today, guys. I hope you get a chance to fly.